This video will cover the changes that were made from version 4.0 to 4.1 on both the black toe and the black foot CNC machines. There are only a couple changes and the changes are relatively small but the impact on the machine is great. The first change is the the way that the the v-groove bearings are pushed towards the rail. Instead of using the prior slanted groove for the uh, v-groove bearings and the, the screw for the v-groove bearings to push it into the rail by hand, I am using um, a screw and a cross dowel to push the screw in and that will maintain a very good amount of force against the rail. For the gantry side and the ZY plate, you'll have the same condition. All of the, the bearings will have these screws and cross dowels to help put it against the rail and this is how to install it. Prior to inserting the, the V-groove bearings and the screws, you'll need to add a screw and a cross dowel and just thread it in and it will push the screw closer and closer to the rail as the as this particular screw is is driven in. And do the same thing to all four positions of the the ZY plate. I'm just screw it in like that and it is important to do all of the all of the locations prior to putting the V-groove bearings in because you may not be able to get the the cross dowel into this this position. So the only other change or the major change actually is using these two uh, nut mounts uh, the anti-backlash nut mounts for the z-axis and they will go in this position here and what this does is it provides a lot more stability than the the metal bear um, the metal brackets that were used before and the what we have to do is these has two this has uh, two cross dowels one here and one in this location and we'll have one and a half inch screws here going into the cross dowels and what this does is it allows you to put the the anti-backlash nut on this mount and it's able to move back and forth um, to provide a little bit of adjustment in the alignment of the lead screw. And there's another part that's on the top that also has a little bit of a groove, um, but that's pretty pretty easy to understand when, when you're putting together the machine. It's also important to mention that the this hole is a little bit larger, so depending on the thickness of this wood, if it is um, variable, then it can move a little bit away from this one so it has a tiny bit of adjustment but when it's installed it should be tied up against each other let me put this the other way so i can adjust it if i need to just insert the cross dowel here's the so this one is attached and it can move down up and down a little bit so now we have these um screwed in we can tighten them i would tighten this one first and then, as you can see, we can do a little bit of adjusting here and then tighten this one up against the upper one. Okay, and we can tighten this one again just to get it really tight. So now this is solid, it's not going to go anywhere. 